In this video, we'll learn about another layout component, stack. Stack is used to add spacing between elements in the horizontal or vertical direction. Under the hood, stack is a flex component that allows you easily layout items and apply a uniform spacing between them. Stack's default direction is column, but you can change this using the direction prop. Stack also accepts a spacing prop which is used to specify the space between each stack item. Personally, stack is my favorite layout component because it makes it easy to lay out elements without stress. So let's take a look at two alternative components that stack gives us, the V stack and the H stack, like the name suggests, vertical and horizontal stack. V stack is used to add spacing between elements in the vertical direction and center them, while H stack is used to add spacing between elements in the horizontal direction and center them. Now that we have a good understanding of stack and the components within stack, let's go over to VS Code to see stack in action. Here, I already have four boxes laid out. Remember the ones we used in the last video? And we are going to use stack, vstack, and hstack. Like always, we import these components at the top. Next, Wrap stack around these boxes and apply a spacing of 24 pixels. We see the space between these boxes is uniform and we have set it to 24 pixels. We can also decide to change the direction since the default direction is column. So let's change this direction to row. Cool, and this is what we have here. So let's go ahead to switch stack to vstack and see what changes. Take out direction since the direction is vertical direction now, and then we make it vstack. We can see that vstack not only applies a uniform spacing between the stack items, but it also gives the items an align center property. And this is useful when you want to center align items and also apply a uniform spacing between them. Let's see how each stack works. Each stack does something very similar but does it in a horizontal direction. So we can see that there's uniform spacing between each of these stack items and an align item center has also been applied to these stack items. This is what you need to know when working with each stack, B stack and stack. Now that you have a good understanding of them, let's go over to typography components.